Hey guys, it's Nod from Craftwork. Um, I'm coming today to show you a new tool that is called Control for Maya that we have been testing for a few days. And what it does is it allows you to retapologize a few cloth uh, in an easy and fast way. Uh, I'm sure everybody has its own way to retapologize cloth coming from Marvelous Designer, for example, but uh, someone like me, that I had no idea uh, about softwares, for example, like Sketch with Topo and other, or ZBrush, I have no skills for those uh, softwares. I found this plugin for Maya really, really handful. It is not super perfect, but sometimes for a few second life, um, products you have it may be fast and it does it all alone and and easily so I have a bed here I just imported it directly from marvelous designer so if you see here it's a single object and unweld so if you click you see there it's still one single object so the first thing before you do anything with Couture for Maya, I'll leave the link for download and everything in the description of this tutorial. Uh, my UVs are completely messed up because this is how the object came from Marvelous Designer. So I'm gonna do a very quick just layout everything. So it's very important that your UVs are layout correctly because culture for Maya is going to use this exact layout to create create the blend shapes and and do the retopology for you so now that we have everything in a one-to-one -one space and we have no uh, UV maps overlapping we can start working with the plugin uh, when you install the plugin it offers you the shelf, so it comes with a shelf already. I, I didn't add the, the logos here, but I'm going to click. Sorry, there is one important thing to do first. You need to separate. So you have all your separate parts of the mesh. Okay, so now we can load the plugin. And it comes docked like this, and you can dock any way you prefer. So this is how it looks. It has the pattern, tab, pattern table is where you're going to work. And it is very easy um, to do. So the first thing you have to do, you have to select all your mesh parts and ask the plugin to load the garments. And you see they change um, color and they're all loaded here. And it creates a group called garment objects and all your objects are actually transferred here to this group. The next thing that you want to do is um, with your uh, garment selected, you ask Culture Maya to flatten um, garments. So you remember the UV that we were looking at? This is exactly what it's going to look like. So now this is a very basic mesh um, and the UVs are very simple. They are all square and it is very easy for me to create a retopo mesh of these parts here in Maya just creating curves and creating flat surfaces with whatever divisions I want. If you're working with clothing and, you, and sometimes you have curves and you have different shapes, um, we were discussing about this. The best thing for you to do is to use the flatten uh, parts and retopologize them either in ZBrush or Sketch Retopo or whatever other software that you have or even Maya if you have the skills for it because in order to continue using this you need the 
retouchable mesh. So you can pair with these uh, garments that Couture created, and this is going to kind of wrap around this bed. So I am going to speed up the video a little bit, but what I'll be doing is I'll just create curves and with these curves I'm going to create flat surfaces giving a little bit of um, divisions to be used as my as my blend shape. Okay, so now that I have my uh, sort of uh, retopo here, these parts, uh, we're going to start to really using the features. So uh, the first thing that you have to do is you have to tell Couture which are the retopo parts. If you're importing retopo from other um, software in your computer, it's going to understand it automatically and you can go directly to pairing. But as I created it here, I have to tell which are my retopo parts. So I'll just say select retopo and it creates a new group here <coughs> of my retopo um, pieces. Uh, next up, you can hide the patterns. So you can take a look. So you see, I have inverted normals here. So this is easy. I'm just going to reverse. My display now they're all facing uh, my screen okay so the next thing is with your retopo selected you're going to tell the system to pair this flatten geometries and that's it it's done and now the second thing is you're going to transfer the UVs and that way these uh, this flatten patterns they're uh, matching the UVs that we had before. Uh, now, the next step, and this is very good because actually the plugin has everything in order. So the next thing, you create your blend shapes and you can show your garments again. And you can use the slider to see the magic going. You see, so whatever retopo you have created, it goes to your original object and um, how it matches your original this is going to depend on your topology so of course everybody knows the more geometry you have the more perfect it's going to match and if you don't want so much geometry you maybe may need to tweak a little bit here and there if you see uh, garments overlapping each other so back to zero Flip the slider at zero, and it is time to wrap your pairs. So you can just click wrap pairs, and your mesh is here. And you can hold, you can hide that in your initial garment, and you see that everything goes in place. And you actually have a soft, a soft and edges uh, option here. You can either use the Maya one or this one. It doesn't really matter. Basically, you can just soft select. And there it is. Let me just show you the 
final result. This is the final result. So, yep, guys, pretty much that's it. Um, I think that this video helped you. It's a, it's a new tool. Um, I think there is a bug report. I'm going to leave the links for you. And, well, have fun. Wow, and, and sorry, I forgot to mention one important thing. There is a trial that is free. But actually, if you're using for a uh, second life uh, business, a uh, plug plugin actually costs you ten dollars. It's uh, considerably cheap. So well, that's it. Thank you.